Katie Arrington, who two weeks ago won the Republican 1st Congressional District nomination over Mark Sanford, was in a fatal car accident late Friday, sustaining serious injuries but was alert and talking after surgery early this morning, her spokesman said. She sustained a fracture in her back and several broken ribs. Other injuries will require major surgery, including the removal of her small intestine. The main artery in her legs has a partial collapse and will require a stent. She faces another surgery today. Her hospital stay is expected to last at least two weeks. Arrington was the passenger in a car heading south on U.S. Highway 17 toward Hilton Head Island when the vehicle she was in was struck by another car driving northbound but in the wrong lane. The driver in the other car was killed. Arrington campaign consultant Michael Mule said an update would be released later this morning. She was out of surgery and recovering at Medical University Hospital. Her husband Rob is with her, he said. Doctors credited her daily workout regimen and physical fitness for her positive condition. There's not many people as tough as Katie Arrington, Mule said. Arrington, 47, and a female friend from out of town were heading to Hilton Head where she was to receive an award this morning from a state medical organization, Mule said. The accident occurred around 9 p.m. near Adams Run in southern Charleston County. The other woman in the car was identified as Jacqueline Goff, 59, from Mandeville, Law. Her condition was not known but her injuries were also listed as serious. The Charleston County Coroner's Office is working to identify the deceased victim. Arrington is a state representative from Somerville who in a national upset, defeated the incumbent Sanford on June 12 in part with the endorsement of President Donald Trump. Notes of support came in from across the political spectrum, including Sanford. Our thoughts and prayers this morning go to Katie Arrington, her family, and those involved in last night's automobile accident, he said on Twitter. Joe Cunningham, Arrington's Democratic opponent in November, said he is suspending all campaign activities until further notice. Amanda, his wife, and I are lifting her and her family up in prayer right now. Please join us, he said on Twitter. Gov. Henry McMaster said he spoke to her husband this morning. We are shocked by the news of her accident and urge all South Carolinians to keep her in their prayers, he said via Twitter. She is a strong, determined woman. We need her, and she will pull through.